recently signed up to do something very uncomfortable. I have some crazy news. I signed up to run seven marathons in seven continents in seven days this November 2024. Hey friends, what's going on? Welcome to the video. Yes, that is 42.2 kilometers or 26.2 miles every day for seven days all around the world. And if you think I'm crazy, well, you're not alone. Am I crazy? Yes. <laughs> There's this one great quote by Henry Ford that I love. And he said, whether you think you can't or you can, you're right. I choose to think that I can. And I think this extreme challenge is a great opportunity to test my resilience and also put my knowledge and experience into good use. Coming home now from a coaching session. We did a one-to-one -one swim session today with the guy I'm coaching for half Ironman this year. Walked him through a round of drills and uh, exercises and we took down his time on, uh, on a 50 from something like 106 down to almost 48, which is a huge improvement. But uh, that is the content for another video. Today we have a different agenda. Over the last year, I have been actively coaching people towards endurance challenges. And uh, well, there's a lot of information on how to train from anything from 5K to a marathon, maybe half and full Ironman. There's very limited information on anything beyond that. And that's what I intend to change. I want to take you on this six month journey with me and basically show you what it means to prepare both physically and mentally for such an extreme challenge. And I will provide you with the principles that I use in my own training and also my coaching. I will give you all of the tools and strategies that will help you to prepare for your own endurance challenge. And more importantly, I will also teach you how to use those. So this will be a basically six month live course during which I will take you through every step of my training for this 777 challenge. Besides these weekly video recaps through which you will be able to follow my journey, there will also be six monthly lectures, each coming with tons of different bonuses. For example, this first webinar on how not to break yourself down during training will take place already next week and it will have strength and mobility assessment sheet that you can use to figure out what are your weak points or how to address them and ensure you basically don't develop an injury throughout the training process. At the end of this six month course, I will also run a full race debrief where I will break down every marathon. How did I go? All of the stats and data, what went right, what went wrong. If you haven't yet, just join via the links in the description and with that let's go to the first week's recap so okay what this race actually entails um how it works is we meet in south africa somewhere a couple of days before the first marathon is yet to start and then when the weather window uh, is available to go to antarctica we fly there and within an hour or two of a landing we're starting to run a marathon on a pre uh, pre-prepared track as we finish the race we wait for the slower runners to finish, we pack up, get back on the plane and fly back to South Africa. Then again, within one or two hours, we start the marathon there. Again, we wait for everyone to complete. We get back on the plane and we fly to Perth, Australia, which is a six to seven hour flight probably. After Australia, we fly to Istanbul because it's uh, the city on the border between Europe and Asia. We'll actually have two days. We will run one marathon on the Asian side of the city. Then we will sleep in a hotel room which is a big plus for, uh, for recovery. And then the next day we wake up, we run the marathon on the European side and then fly from Istanbul to Colombia, a city called Cartagena. Same routine, we disembark, we run the marathon within roughly two hours or so, we pack and then we fly to the last race, which would be Miami. And then we finish and celebrate. And because this is an extreme challenge, 
uh, there will be a lot of different training strategies that I will apply. Uh, of course, endurance training, uh, strength training, lactate threshold, heel work, but also some advanced strategies like uh, uh, heat training, for example. And because most of the marathons are in hot and humid condition, that would be a very critical piece of my training. Volume-wise, there's nothing spectacular just yet. I'm uh, building up from roughly 40 to 50 kilometers per week. My aim is to build up to 100 to 120, closer to the race and then taper down. It's a lot of running, so especially in the, in the days when I'll have a lot of uh, work and coaching to do, I will split most of my long runs into two. So I will do some 40 minutes first thing in the morning and then 40 minutes throughout the day whenever I have time. So that way, kind of extending the extending the, the training day without adding that kind of a lot of stress by going one and a half and two hours in, in one go. But for now, in the first kind of these first few weeks, my aim is to just get to a consistent mileage. Um, not do any any kind of form of speed work, but the priority for me is actually to, to perform a lot of uh, focused strength training uh, and in particular improve the mobility and uh, strengthen my weaker area, which is uh, something that uh, I have been actively working on throughout the last week because all of a sudden I developed some sort of um, some sort of pain in my uh, left outer knee, which is not the best sign when you start a significant training program. But now, one week later, even though I'm building up volume, the pain is almost completely gone. So 0 0.5 on a scale from uh, from 1 to 10, so I'm positive that everything is, uh, is, is going well. And again, if you want to learn what specifically am I doing in order to, to manage that, I'm running a webinar next week. If you're joining the inner circle with the uh, all access view with the course, then you will have that, uh, you'll have that included. So it's five months of uh, pretty intense training ahead. And uh, I know a lot of things can go wrong. I always treat these kind of preparations as a, as a project and in every project, something uh, something goes wrong so it's uh, a lot of uh, problem management then uh, then getting things ideal and uh, yeah that's why i want to take you along with me it's a journey it's going to be a fun journey I'm, i will enjoy it i'm sure you will enjoy it i'll provide a lot of content motivation inspiration so click the links in the description to to support and follow and of course get the book thanks see you in the next video